This is something I'm going to explain that the chosen ones face. The chosen ones specifically. And it's simply because of how much you change your life, bro. I even look back at my life. And you know, I've always had this warrior spirit inside of me, this type of confidence that I cannot explain. Just feeling like one of the best in the world. Just feeling like one of the best in the world. Just this confidence I cannot even explain. But, looking back, I have changed. I have gotten so much better, but the crazy thing is I look back and I always knew I was as good as I was right now. And as of right now, I know I'm so much better in the future than I'm going to be right now. And that's the crazy thing. That is how you manifest, bro. Like, it just takes time. Things in life just take time. You can't skip steps. You can't skip ages. You just go through the process and things just take time to come together and to come to fruition and, and all that kind of stuff. But bro, it's this vision, it's this confidence that I cannot even explain. And from being a chosen one, the thing about you is, and the thing about everybody else, because it's night and day difference, we already know this, the changes you make is very drastic. Even the boys I talk to, man, the changes they've made, the changes they continue to make to this day is drastic. You look back and it's, and you see them now and then you look back and it's like the changes were made. But when it comes to most people today, just regular people in the world, whoever, you look back, they were even better in the past than they are right now. I literally know guys that I went to high school with that were 16, 17 at the time they were better then than they are right now. That's how much they sabotaged their lives. They had more of a winner spirit back then. A better spirit. Better, more, more in shape, more clear minded than they even are right now, which is a sin. Imagine being better at 16, 17 years old than you are at, let's say, 26, 27. That is not good. Ten, you have 10 years ahead of you and you get worse. You're even worse than you used to be. That is disastrous. That is failure. And you know what the beautiful thing about is life? Uh, you know what the beautiful thing is about life? You could have flunked, you could have fought like flunked the last 10 years of your life and just choose today to just win going forward that's the beautiful thing about life so i don't want to discourage no one who's watching this video if you flunked the last 10 years of your life guess what little news flash for you you can choose to win right now going forward and make the change you always wanted to see in yourself think higher think higher up what are you capable of? Bring that to light. People think, oh, there's already enough people in the world winning today. No, there is not. There's not enough. There is room for everybody at the top. And that's exactly where the chosen ones will be. At the top. I'll see you at the top. At the top. You have to know that. You have to know that deeply every single day of your life. You're going to the top. Because it's just who you are. It's just what's inside of you. And if you're that person, if you were chosen, if you're that person that makes these drastic changes over life, guess what? You're going to be hated. The more you elevate, there's different levels of hate from different spectrums of people. At one point, you'll be at a certain spot, 
around certain people or, or, or whatever. You're gonna, you're gonna be following a certain crowd on social media. They're gonna be following you and then guess what? When you elevate past that spot and you hit a new level, a bunch of those people is gonna unfollow you. You're gonna unfollow those people. All of a sudden, you meet new people, better people, whatever. They're following you, you follow them, guess what? The same thing, when you reach new levels, they're unfollowing you, you're unfollowing them, F you. F you, you don't accept my growth, then F you. And then you go to new levels and the same things happen. The same things. This is what you're gonna to come to notice about your journey. And it's because these people are haters and they're not gonna budge, they're not gonna move. They are already defeated. But guess what? Chosen people will never do this to one another. Because chosen folks are always elevating themselves. Even if you surpass certain people, and it's not a competition, it's not a race, we all have our journeys. The point is we're always making changes, we're always growing, we're always learning. It's the right mindset. I would prefer to be around the best people in the world because they are the smartest, the least judgmental, in the best headspace, doing the best things, they're the best people, they're down to earth the most. People think the highest up people have the biggest egos and all this stuff. No, it's actually the opposite. It's not the people the highest up. It's not the most confident people. It's not the most successful people that have the biggest egos. They have the smallest egos. Because in order to succeed, you have to lose. The people with the biggest egos are on the bottom, bro. You're not budging. Nothing is happening. And these people use shaming tactics after shaming tactics after shaming tactics and convince themselves of all these things that is not even true. You need to be extremely down to earth, humble, real with yourself in order to succeed. Very real with yourself in order to succeed. Very real. It's not the most confident people. It's the least confident people. That is how it is. The world gets it mixed up because there's so many people on the bottom and that's all you hear from these bottom feeders. All oh, the people succeeding have the biggest egos. Ah, no, you have the biggest ego, which is why you're not succeeding, which is why you can never learn. Never. You have to fail your way to the top, damn near. That's how it is, because it's gonna come with failures. It's going to come with losses. I've had to take so many damn losses in my own personal life in order to even reach the levels that I've reached right now in my own personal life. I had to lose so many people I never thought I would lose. Certain girls from the past, certain friends, certain family members, we're talking all of it. Certain opportunities that I had at, at particular times that was really good that I had to cut off and drop, which hurt me bad, in order to really give it my all into certain things, which was delayed results, which didn't feel good, which you're, it's this short term pain, suffering, whatever you want to call it, to get the outcomes you're really supposed to get. Do you understand how down to earth and humble you have to be in order to make that kind of stuff happen? Big head of people can never do things like that. They can't. Oh, I just like what I have right now. They just always like what they have right now. Oh, I'm not going to give it up for the better things because I don't want to suffer that much. I don't want to feel short term pain. It's what you have to do. It shows you are down to earth. It shows that. And when you show God that, he is going to grant you what you rightfully deserve. <clears throat> and when you are that person, you will be blessed. When you are that person, you will also be hated. Because you're always reaching these new levels and you're surprising people left, right, and center. Your growth is blowing their minds. They can't believe certain things is happening for you. You're making worlds turn. 
you're different. You're becoming better because of how much you're putting in, how much you put into yourself, how much you put into your health. Link in the description box. You want to get healthy? You want to get wealthy? Get your health right first. Description box. That's what it takes. But people don't understand. Oh, they're, they're just big headed. Oh, if I just invest in my health and wellness, oh, it's not going to do nothing. Oh, it's not going to do this. Oh, it's not going to do that. Oh, da 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 da. I'm not going to start this business because it's not going to be quick enough. Oh, da 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 da. You have to give it your all. You have to be locked in on what you're doing. You have to really go for things in life, folks. You have to really go for things in life. Like, you really have to do it. You have to be seen on bottom in order to make it to the top. You have to. But people don't want to do it. People don't want to be seen starting off something new. You don't want to start a new page because you have zero likes, zero followers, zero this, zero that. You don't want to do those things. Guess what? I started YouTube with zero every motherfucking thing. With a whole community of people where I come from who know me very well, who's going to watch me, who's going to talk shit about me, who's going to do a whole bunch of crazy things. But guess what? That didn't matter to me. What mattered to me was going forward in life and doing the things I'm supposed to do regardless of what anyone feels or thinks. You don't think pressure comes with that? You don't think that that's difficult? What's worthwhile in this life is going to be difficult, folks. And that is the truth. But people... For some odd reason, most people in the world don't want to do what's worthwhile. Because it's too hard, it's too long, I'm not seeing the results quick enough. If you are chosen, none of this matters because you will outwork any of those thoughts or any things that have to do with that. You will completely and utterly outwork those things. You will outwork the hard times. It does not matter. Because how much your life matters to you outweighs all the other things. Your purpose, you will die for. It's all or nothing. Because it's who you are. You will go out on your shield. You will damn well die on the battlefield making the world turn. The way it's supposed to turn. That's going to come with some uncomfortable times. That's going to come with a lot of misunderstandings. That's going to come with hate. It's going to come with backstabbing. It's going to come from people that you were once cool with that's going to turn their backs when you hit certain points and hit certain checkpoints in your life. You start to succeed. They're looking at you a little bit funny, a little bit different. They're not accepting it. They're bitter. They're mad. You mad? They're mad because you're succeeding. They're upset. This is why it's so important to not care and to go forward regardless of what anybody thinks. There's even people that's going to count you out for years and then could sometimes jump on the train. It's just how the world is. It's how the world works. I will never treat people this way because I simply know how it feels. I will always cheer people on who want to start new things. I'll always stick up for people who want to start new things. I'm always on your team because I know how it feels to be completely left out, to be completely betrayed, to be spit on. Not literally, but you guys know what I'm saying. If anyone spit on me, I'd damn near kill them. Take your life. I'm always going to cheer for the people who want to do the bigger, better things in life, who are starting out on new things. You're always going to be on my team. I'm always going to be on your side. And I can't stand these arrogant pieces of shit who want to crush everyone else's dream because they can't achieve their own. Those are the people I do not like. NPCs.
don't be an NPC. Be chosen. Choose yourself. Who cares what anyone else is doing? Who cares if your own friends are succeeding and you're not just yet? Who cares? Just do your best work. You have time. Just be proud of yourself for what you've already overcome in your life. For what you've already achieved. And for the future. The future is ours. The future belongs to the chosen. And it's going to be a miserable existence for these NPCs. No player cards. <laughs> That's what it stands for in my books, bro. No player cards. They ain't a player. They ain't a player. They a player hater. Just do your best work. Be proud of yourself. I even had a hard time over the years being proud of myself because I demand so much of myself. How could I sit there and just, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. No, there's so much more to do. There's not, there's not even time to even think about that. There's just so much more to do. It's not that I'm not. It's just there's just so much more to do. There's just it's, that's just the mindset. It's a going forward mindset. It's having burning passion and desire for life. That's what it's about. It would be very hard for any human being on earth to match my discipline, to match the fire inside of myself. Very hard. I'm not saying no one does. Of course they do. It's just very hard to match it. We're talking top percenter type shit. When it comes to my purpose, when it comes to my drive, when it comes to my firepower on the inside, it's not easy to match that. I've been a man possessed for years, strictly on my purpose, strictly having vision, being about it. All these NPCs, all these haters, bro, they just want to ruin it. But guess what? You can't ruin me. They can't ruin you either. Stay on your shit. They're going to be the ones shedding tears, crying, and almost drowning in the pool of their own tears. Because they can't be your friend now. They can't hang with you now. You don't even want nothing to do with them, bro. You don't even want to respond back. Nothing. Because they mean nothing to you. Because guess what? They spat on your ass. They spat on you. They betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. They laughed at you, bro. They don't belong anywhere near you. You belong somewhere entirely different. And guess what? Because of it, they're going to cry in a pool of their own tears. But not said. I just extremely love people who's down to earth, who understand, who have goals, who might even be starting off at blank zero. It doesn't matter where you're at. I love people who choose to live in the correct mind frame and not be a little hating, hating NPC. I don't care who you are. Those are the people that I love. And I can't love people. I can't, I can't bond with people who's having some sort of animosity towards me or some disagreement. They just don't like who I am. Get the fuck out of my face. I already know why you don't. I've done nothing to you. I already know why you don't like me or why you're not fond of me. Because you're jealous. You're jealous of what I've done. You're jealous of my success. You are just jealous. We are not cool. I don't want to be anywhere near you. You go, you, you know what? I'm not going to write you off for your entire life, but guess what? I want you to go and fix yourself and then come back to me at some other point with a better attitude. And then I could, I could welcome you in with open arms at that point. I just can't stand these jealous, hating folks. I cannot, guys. I cannot stand it. I'm sick and tired of that energy. You are going to become who you're going to become regardless. That's it. Some people ain't going to like it. That's why I'm telling you guys, when you reach these certain levels, bro, there's going to be all types of different people turning on you, turning on you, turning on you. One week they love you, next week they hate you. Fuck y'all motherfuckers, bro.